second-guessing himself, he ran into the bedroom. The first thing he saw was Desiree Petrovna's face. It was still more stern and frowning. Kitty's face was not there. In place of it, where it used to be, was something dreadful. Both in its strange look and in the sound that came from it. He leant his head against the wooden bedstead, feeling his heart was bursting. The terrible screaming would not stop. It became still more terrible. And then, as if reaching the final limit of the terrible, it suddenly stopped. Levin did not believe his ears. For there could be no doubt. The screaming stopped. And there was a quiet stirring. A rustle and quick breathing. And her faltering, alive, gentle, and happy voice softly said, It's over. He raised his head. Her arms resting strengthlessly on the blanket, remarkably beautiful and quiet, she silently looked at him and tried, but was unable to smile. <laughs>